videos welcome back so I am here today with a new video and today's video I wanted to show you guys how you can make a lace closure wig within an hour to an hour and a half okay I'm gonna show you exactly how I made my lace closure wig from start to finish how I made it look so natural without a without me bleaching the knots without me tending to lace or anything like that so if you guys are interested then definitely keep watching this full out tutorial the hair that I will be using to make my lace closure wig is from wigginshair.com. I have their loose deep wave hair in the lens 18, 20, 22 with an 18 inch lace closure. So this is exactly how the hair looks straight out of the package. This hair has a really nice loose wave to it. I love it. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I make my lace closure wig with okay so the first thing i'm going to show you is exactly what supplies i use to make my lace closure wig now you guys know when it comes to me making my wigs i try to get done as quick as possible and i know you guys kind of feel the same way so the supplies that i will be using um i do have a canvas wig block i am using the head size 21 and a half inch um i have my t-pins i also have my um needle and thread and I also am using a men's spandex dome cap and then of course last but not least is a pair of scissors and the hair that I will be using to install to make this wig so the first thing that I'm doing is I am going ahead and putting my dome cap onto my canvas wig block and I will be sewing down my lace closure first. Now you guys, in order to make your lace closure lay flat as possible is making sure that you stretch it as much as you can when you lay it down onto the dome cap and then using your T-pins to make sure that it does not shift uh, back and forth so that's exactly what I'm doing right now I usually place the lace closure or the front of the closure about maybe like a half an inch not even that in front of the dome cap and then I'm using my small t-pins to lay down the lace in the front and then I'm using my bigger t-pins to lay down the back of the closure and like I stated before, you guys, make sure that you are pulling that uh, lace closure, making sure that it is laying down really flat on the sides, the front, as well as the back. And then I'm going in with two needles and thread, and I'm going to sew down the one side of the closure and a little bit of the back of the closure. And then I will move on to the other side and do the same thing. And then I will finish up with sewing down the back of the closure if you guys are interested in a full out tutorial on exactly how i sew down my lace closure i do have a video on that already on my channel i will give you guys the link either down below in the description section or up above in this video now if you follow exactly how i sew down my lace closure you shouldn't have any issues with your closure puckering um moving side to side not laying down flat you guys just make sure you follow my steps exactly and your lace closures should lay down really really flat and this is exactly how your closure should look after you sewn the entire closure down onto your dome cap so the next step that I'm going to do is I am going to sew my wefts in and you guys I sewn in about pretty much all three bundles of the hair I wanted to make sure that my hair was really full now I'm going to show you a really quick trick you guys to make sure that you get done with that lace closure wig within an hour to an hour and a half and the trick to it is double all of your wefts okay and I'm going to show you exactly how I am doing that I am doubling my wefts I'm not doing single weft stitching I am doing double weft stitching this is how I'm able to complete my lace closure wig in no time at all now if you're not sure exactly what I mean when I say double the wefts I mean when you unravel your bundle do not unravel it all the way make sure that it is folded okay so you have it 
as a double weft instead of a single weft. And then you're just going to go in as usual and then start sewing down your, uh, your bundle, your first bundle. And just make sure that your stitching is really neat. Make sure that the stitching is really taut because you do not want your uh, wefts to start coming a loose. So I know you guys might be thinking, oh, doubling the weft might make my wig look bulky. It will not make your wig look bulky if you know how to stitch correctly, okay? And as you guys can see, I'm stitching from ear to ear or from one side to the other side. And then I'm actually cutting the uh, weft once I get to the other side. And then I'm starting right again and doubling the weft and then sewing it down. <laughs> This is super easy, you guys, to do. I do this all the time when it comes to me making my wigs. If I'm not using the hot glue gun method, I am using the double weft uh, sewing technique when it comes to making my lace closure wigs. Uh, but, you guys... Um, so when you get closer or towards the end of your first weft, you want to make sure that when you do get to the very end that you actually open up that last piece of the weft or last piece of the track and then do a single weft stitch, okay? So you're going to open it up. Make sure that you're not doing double wefting. You're doing a single wefting, okay? And then just sew that little piece down and then start sewing your second bundle down onto your wig cap. And you're going to continue this process throughout the entire wig. When you get to this, um, the end of your second bundle, make sure you open it up and do a single weft stitching or single weft sewing it down onto your wig cap. Now, as you guys can see, after I sewn down each one of those bundles, I'm showing you guys um, how flat my lace closure wig looks. Doing double wefting does not make your weft, I mean, make your wig bulky or anything like that. You just need to make sure that you know how to do very good stitching or sewing techniques, okay? So, you guys, just continue watching the video. I will show you guys exactly how I closed up the wig as well, but I did want to tell you exactly my experience with wearing Wiggins hair. Um, so far, so good, you guys. This is like my everyday wig that I have been wearing, like every day. <laughs> and um, there was no smell or odor with this hair. I did notice that when I first got the hair, uh, it was like a little bit uh, tangling and everything. But I did go in and shampoo and wash the hair using one and only Argon Repair Moisturizing Shampoo as well as Conditioner. These are my go-to shampoo and conditioner when it comes to my hair. So um, after I washed the hair, I really didn't have any issues. All you need is water with this hair. If you're trying to like re uh, define or revive the loose wave in this hair, all you need is water or you can do water and a little bit of the Aussie Moisturizing Conditioner, which I did. And just comb, just brush it through using a dimming brush or a paddle brush. And the waves on this hair is really, really pretty, you guys. So overall, uh, so far, this hair is pretty nice, you guys. I do still get a little bit of tangling, but I do not get, um, I actually really don't get any type of shedding with this hair, but I still do get a little bit of tangling. 
Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and start closing up my wig. I am still, I still did um, double wefting a little bit towards the top of the head, but not too much. When you get to the top of the head and you start to close up your wig, you want to do single wefting. You do not want to do double wefting throughout the entire wig because once you get close to the closure, it will start to look bulky. You want to make sure that that closure, when you pull it back, that is laying down flat on the sides as well as the back. So when it overlaps the rest of the hair, it is not like poofy and it's not sitting up. So that's the reason why I say that when you get close to the closure, and you start to close up your wig, you want to do single wefting. Now, I do something a little bit different when it comes to closing up my wig. I do not do a U shape when it comes to, or a half circle shape when it comes to closing up my lace closure wig. I actually follow the shape of the closure when I close up the wig. I hope that makes sense. So if you guys see that I am following the shape of the lace closure. So the lace closure is sort of in a boxed, half, uh, half box shape. And that's how I am curving or making my tracks or wefts form when I start to sew it down. And then once I get really close to the back of the closure, I just take about one to two pieces and then close up the wig and that's it. Okay, so this is how the hair or the wig looks after I finish making my custom lace closure wig. As you guys can see, the wig is really flat. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, cut off that excess piece of the cap underneath the closure. You want to make sure that you do not keep this. I know I've gotten questions on why do you cut that piece underneath the closure off? The reason for that is because you want to make that lace show so you can start um, customizing your lace closure to make it look natural. And you don't need that piece. You know, that piece is, is not doing nothing for you. So you can just cut it right on off. And then once you cut it off, you can start customizing your lace closure, uh, the hairline and everything. And if you want, you can bleach the knots. But I didn't bleach the knots. You guys know. <laughs> I went in with my Sally Hansen airbrush spray and I sprayed that on the back of the lace closure and then I used a blow dryer to dry it and as you guys can see it hit the knots on my uh, closure. So after that what the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install an elastic band. You do not have to install an elastic band on your uh, lace closure wig but for more um, security and just making sure that that wig ain't going nowhere I do sometimes install an elastic band and the way that I install my elastic band uh, for my lace closure wig is I do my measurement temple to temple and then I actually uh, sew down the band inside the wig on each side of the closure if you guys are interested in a detailed tutorial on how i do this i actually have a video up i will give you guys the link to that one as well so the last step that i'm going to do is go ahead and customize it to make it look you know more realistic on my head and everything um i already plucked the hairline on the closure but I will be going in a little bit more and plucking it some more while it's on my head and I'm just going I'm also going in and defining my parts uh, usually I just use a spray bottle with some water and then I use a rat tail comb to make my part and that's about it and then also I do go in with the curling wand and the Cura Care wax stick to lay down the uh, closure where my party is as well. And this is basically the final look, you guys. If you are interested in Wiggins hair, I will give you all the information down below in the description section. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I appreciate all you guys that have already subscribed to my channel and leave me comments. Let me know, you guys, if this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you do double wefting when it comes to making your wigs as well. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.